Hello healthy friends, this is Terry Sandusky of The Bend Health Guide and Kamimi Healing Arts and I'm here to tell you about the Nine Star Key Astrology Report for 2020 and um, this will all begin on Chinese New Year's January 25th, 2020 and the Nine Star Key is a Chinese astrology based on the five element system that is used in both traditional Chinese medicine and also in the Bagua for feng shui purposes. This is a nature based tradition where we are born into certain elements and each year we travel through another element within this five element star that is also used in acupuncture. And um, your home also has a nine star key that will directly affect your health, wealth, and love life. And you can find your nine star key based on the year that you were born in the chart in the very next frame. Remember, this is based on Chinese New Year system. So it is best to calculate from January 25th for this year or generally from February 4th of any given year. If you are right on the cusp, really close to February 4th, you may want to find out what the Chinese New Year's Day was for the year that you were born, just to be really accurate, and to learn more about your own personal nine star key and your home's nine star key related to your Bagua, you can also contact me at KamimiHealingArts.com. This first one is the number one water star. This year will be about inner transformations. Just as the caterpillar goes within the cocoon to transform into a butterfly, so you will need more time to yourself this year to go deep within and just figure things out. Accept this year as a time of deep inner work and hibernation as you prepare for even bigger things to come next year. Allow yourself time for solitude, naps, lots of self-care, healing work, and go and get a massage. Take time for yourself to journal, perhaps to do some yin yoga, and just really slow down. This year is all about going inward, into the mountain, into the cave, going deep within. And this is not a good year to do travel, and this is especially not a good year to be moving your house or making any big change that requires a lot of energy because you will just feel more tired in this year as you are really pulled into the underworld of transformation. So really take this time to allow your home to be a place of refuge. It's a really good time to organize your house, to do some tidy up work, to purge anything that no longer serves you. And and you are in the year of the earth mountain. So this is a good time to wear really earthy colors of dark browns, earthy yellows, beige, very organic clothes. Um, it's a wonderful time to bring in house plants and um, really get back into the gardening and spend the time planting seeds and growing your foods and um, your lucky directions for hanging prayer flags and for sleeping in this year are the northwest and the northeast corners of your home. So really try to beautify those areas and if you're going to hang prayer flags, you can hang it in the northeast corner. This is the reading for Earth Star number two and um, Earth Mother. You are on fire this year as you enter the ninth archetype that is ruled by fire and the heart. This is a lot of yang energy coming at you this year. And because fire feeds earth, this year will be especially auspicious for your element. 
This is your time to shine and you may receive more attention than usual this year. This would be the very best year for you to launch your YouTube page, perhaps do a podcast, marketing, advertising, publishing a book would be wonderful and go on a book tour because the star of fame is shining on you all year and you will feel more outgoing than usual and just go have fun with it. Go to all the parties and dance to your own beat and you may find yourself so busy with so many projects and events and people who wanna work with you this year that your head will be swirling. So make sure to take time out to also be alone, go for long walks, remember to meditate and just quiet your mind from the absolute whirlwind of activity that will be coming your way this year. And if you are single, you will probably meet the one this year as you are tapped in, turned on and just ready for love and your heart will be wide open. You may really feel a lot of heart chakra activity this year as you are in this heart element and your, um, also, um, you're able to wear the most fiery color palette this year. All the colors that radiate from the passions of the heart and fire. So bright reds and bright oranges and yellows, purple, fuchsia, pink, all these colors that are power colors that will really have you being seen in the world. You will be so noticed this year, you might wanna slow down so you don't get a speeding ticket because your actions, both good and bad, will be noticed this year. So make sure your actions reap more rewards and awards than penalties. <laughs> And also make sure to drink lots of water this year because with all that fiery, yangy, hot energy, it's like you've been eating spicy foods. Your body will just really crave water and you may wanna take more baths and you may want to be in the river or lakes a little bit more this summer. Um, just really craving water to balance all that hot, fiery energy coming at you and you may wanna be aware of burnout too. This is a year where you could just be so busy, you could feel burnt out, but don't quit your job. It's probably just the year and the feelings of being just doing so much. So give it a year. If you're thinking about quitting, don't make any big changes. And your lucky direction for this year is Southeast. So you'll wanna sleep in the direction of Southeast and hang your prayer flags in that direction too. Next up is the three wood tree star and you are starting all over again. This is your very first year and a whole brand new nine year cycle. And you're just like a seed underground full of potential, like an acorn that will someday manifest into a mighty oak. And this will not be a doing year as much as an imagining and planning year. So you'll be more planning for the future, um, really envisioning your future into being and creating a magnificent vision board that will span for the next nine years. So really allow yourself to take some time and dream bigger than you ever have before. You are just a seed that is germinating this year, but that is possibly the most important part of the whole growth cycle, when a seed is just germinating. So take time out and really figure out what it is you want to create, what you want to become in this next cycle. And you might require more downtime than usual this year as you just try to process what it is you want and if anyone says that you are being lazy, you can just tell them you're germinating. This reflective imagining time can be really difficult for tree types who typically like to grow and start and do and be and make things happen, but truly slow down and take this time to chart your course using your energy wisely. Do less and manifest even more this year, as we learn in the Tao Te Ching. 
Tree types love to start things, but this would not be a wise year to say start a new business or launch a new project. Really don't do it. Um, this could be a year to envision that new business, to think it up, to create a map or um, goals, directions you want to go, but don't launch anything until at least 2022 when the energy will support it better. If you try to launch or start a new business in 2020, the energy will not support it and it can feel like maybe this wasn't meant to be or oh, maybe I'm a failure, but it's really just that you didn't do it in the proper timing. So really don't start anything new like that. Um, and, and if you were gonna write a book, this could be a great time to write in solitude, but don't publish that book until 2022 at the earliest again. This is a water year for wood types, so water feeds wood. Wood trees need water to survive, so this should be an excellent year for health, vitality, and prosperity. All you have to do is truly allow it. And maybe drinking more water this year and taking longer baths and soaking in pools and also wearing all the colors of water this year. Every shade of blues, blacks, aquamarine, sea green, turquoise. And um, the most powerful direction for sleeping is with your head facing towards the southeast corner of your home. And you can hang your prayer flags in the southeast or southwest to have the maximum prosperity. Or bamboo star, you are just beginning to unfurl, just like a fern in the forest. This will begin an important growth cycle as you just begin to sprout. This season would be considered early spring, like in March, when things are just beginning to bud up. And so really take your time to set your goals, intentions, and make your action plans. But don't actually take the big actions until next year, 2021, when the energy will support moving forward even better. This is your year to get ready to be ready. And so be patient knowing your time is coming soon. This is an earth year and it's really good for tree stars as this is a time to root down, really ground, put your roots in soil. This is a really great time to transplant all your house plants, get back into the garden and really do some earth work. Remembering that a tree can only grow as tall as its roots grow deep into the ground. So really spending some time to just take your socks off and put your feet, bare feet into the earth and do earthing and grounding and just imagining your roots going deep into the earth. And the more you root down, the higher you will grow, just like a tree. And plants need sun, water, and healthy soil. So remember, to grow well, you will need to nourish yourself this year with plenty of water and sunshine, getting out into nature and doing some nature therapy, and also just really eating those nourishing foods. I recommend going to the farmer's market and just eating as much local, organic, plant-based diet as you can this year. In 2020, you will spring into action knowing just what you want and how to get it because you really planned it out and you really rooted your ideas this year. And the earth colors for you to wear are the browns and beige, pale yellows, pale greens, um, golds, and maybe tan. Southeast would be the most powerful direction for you to face your head when you go to sleep. And this would also be where you'd want to hang your prayer flags this year with intentions of growth and rooting down.
And this next one is for the five center star. And this is your full steam ahead year as the wind is in your sails. If you've been wanting to accomplish something really big, this is your time to finally make it happen. And this would be an excellent year to start a new business, to launch something new, make a move, or get that promotion you truly deserve. There will be so much growth this year that you might not recognize yourself by December. You are like a fast growing tree, sprouting out new branches and leaves and going in so many directions. You have more energy than usual. But the key is to try not to overdo it and try not to start too many things this year that you will just need so much more physical activity this year just to balance out all that yang upward growth energy that you have. So you'll really want to get into a habit of walking, running, biking, or just going out into nature and hiking just to ground yourself because you'll really be growing upwards, but remember that you will need to root down at this time too. And um, you are in a wood element year, so you'll wanna wear the colors of a young, vibrant, growing tree. So think Kelly greens and those bright spring leprechaun greens. Um, dark browns. A really nice combination is to wear the really nice green on top with brown pants or a brown skirt so that you really are embodying the colors of a tree and you really will find yourself growing so much. You'll want to be reading more books, listening to podcasts. Maybe you want to launch a podcast of your own. This is the time to take classes and learn new ideas. Um, so much growth here. By the end of the year, you'll just be worn out from all the learning and growing and expansion. So really take that time out to get some naps in too because you can really overdo it in this year. And um, the northeast direction will be the most favorable direction for you to sleep with your head facing northeast and also hang your prayer flags in the northeast direction. You will attract so much abundance. You'll really be working for it and earning it, but you have so much growth in your businesses or even if you start a business, you'll have so much growth and, growth and prosperity this year. So remember to um, honor that northeast area of your home. Next up is the Six Metal Star. This year may have some real plot twists in both your career and relationships, and you will find an inner resilience to handle just about anything that comes your way. In nature, this year would be symbolized by a bamboo or a willow tree bending in the wind. So you'll want to be flexible, make adjustments, allow for changes to take you in completely new and unexpected directions. Try to be okay with just not knowing exactly where you are going. Just be in the moment, go with the flow, and enjoy the ride. Sometimes this can be quite difficult for a metal who wants a clear path and a plan of action at all times. So your mantra this year can be surrender to the process. This would be a good year to expand your horizons with some continuing education or maybe a retreat getaway. This bamboo in the wind year, it will be really nice to wear some light uh, green tea inspired colors, um, perhaps a lighter mossy green color and lighter tans and browns as you um, think of the colors of bamboo or willow. And your most favorable direction for sleeping is with your head facing the north or northwest. And you can hang prayer flags in the north, northwest, or northeast to manifest all of your intentions for change. Seven Metal Star. You are in the center this year, as this is a seven metal star year for us all in 2020. You are in the center now. So this can be an exciting year, but also a really stressful one. 
The winds of change that were blowing last year are now a full force hurricane, bringing an overflow of opportunities and chaos at the exact same time. As the I Ching chaos symbol says, before a brilliant person creates something great, they must look foolish to the crowd. To others, it may seem that you are going crazy this year, but truly a revolution of sorts is happening for you. Ride out this storm by not making any big changes. This is not the time to move, not to quit your job or divorce, though you may want to do those things. Just stay put, find your center, work hard, and bail your hay while the sun shines, as they say. Write out this storm knowing that next year everything you want is coming to you and you will manifest next year. You may want to find that friends or family could be your greatest source of support during this time and it might be nice to ask for help if you need it. This is um, Sometimes hard for metal types to ask for help, but you really may need it. And you may even need to hire some help in your business too, as your business may expand and grow beyond your capacities this year. And so it's time to accept that you just can't do everything and you are going to need to ask for help. When I think of the center star, I envision that cat on the branch poster that says, hang in there. Um, that's what this year could be like. You might have to keep telling yourself, just hang in there because knowing that next year you will be reaping your rewards. And so just knowing that somehow can get you through the storm, knowing that things will be better next year, just make it through this year and know that things are going to be better next year. And all the work that you do this year, you will manifest greatly in abundance and you will really reap the rewards of your hard work that you put in this year. Um, keep yourself rooted with the earthy colors of deep dark browns. You'll want to be wearing tans, yellow, burnt orange, all those real earth tone colors. And your best direction for sleeping this year is with your head facing north northwest or northeast and you can hang prayer flags in those directions too with an intention for clarity strength and just knowing that it's going to get better eight mountain star this is your harvest year you will truly reap rewards this year and your mantra will be let things come to you and truly they will. This is your luckiest year of all nine years. You may receive unexpected money, cha-ching, and it could come from either an inheritance or it could come from a big promotion or bonus at work and even try playing the lottery this year. This is your best year, your best chance to win. You will be in your power all year, more able to manifest all that you desire than ever before. And the trick may just be knowing what that is that you truly desire. And what is it that you truly want in life and feeling that you do indeed deserve all that you will receive this year. Try making a wish list at the beginning of 2020 and then just see in December of 2020 if all those wishes didn't come true. Because this is the most likely year for you to reap all the rewards. And remember to give thanks for all that you do have and all that you will receive this year. And your harvest, um, you will want to share it with others just as they do in the Native American potlatch system. It's so good to give while you have so much. Give to others, give to friends, give to families, share your bounty because they may give back to you at another less fortunate time. This is the system. And your lucky metal colors for you to wear this year are silver, white, dark gray, cobalt blues, and gold. And try sleeping with your head facing the northeast 
and hang your prayer flags in the northeast or northwest corners of your home with an intention of receiving all that you desire and all that you deserve. And prosperity and abundance is most assured this year for you. Nine Fire Star. In the past two years, you have worked so hard and you have prospered. You've reaped the rewards. Now is truly your time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Take a moment in gratitude. Enjoy the brilliance of a setting sun. Eat nourishing foods and really experience all that you have and you may just be more sensitive to your surroundings this year in this metal element, making this an ideal time for you to tidy up your home, buy artwork, or have a space clearing for your home. You're also more sensitive to negative energy or negative people. You may find yourself not wanting to be around any negativity or perhaps you need an energy clearing because you're just more sensitive to everything in your environment right now. This is also a good time to do more smudging this year and just really clearing out anything that doesn't serve you. This is a perfect year for you to travel, to take in all the scenic beauty that surrounds you, take pictures, perhaps you will like to start painting this year, just really getting an artistic flair. Even if you're just setting your dinner table, you will do it in a beautiful way, making everything around you beautiful. You may feel inspired to upgrade your wardrobe or restyle your hair or color your hair or get a facial, maybe put on some new makeup. This is a wonderful time for pampering yourself and improving your appearance. Uh, you'll want to wear more metal colors this year as you're in the element of metal. So dark coal gray, white, silver, copper, bronze, and gold colored items. And your best direction for sleeping is with your head facing the southwest corner of your home. And you'll want to prayer, uh, hang your prayer flags in the southwest corner of your home too with an intention of beauty. Um, and there's a great Native American meditation you can do that is to walk in beauty and that the beauty surrounds you and the beauty is before you and the beauty is everywhere. <laughs> 